Hi, I'm Nick Schott at Gilamot Kayaks. Welcome to episode 6 of my build of the Skin on Frame Micro Bootlegger Sport. In today's episode, we'll be wrapping the frame in a skin of polyester fabric. My friend Dave came by to see how I'm doing it and give me a hand. He's also very skilled with the surf ski in rough conditions as well as an experienced boat builder. The cloth I'm using for the skin is a polyester filter fabric. This is leftover material I purchased years ago for an earlier project from Dyson by Dark and Company. Looking back at my records, it's a 14 ounce cloth. I have just enough to cover the frame. We unrolled it and centered it on the frame, then pinned one side in place. I slipped a lath under the skin to act as a cutting surface. In the past, I've used a soldering iron with a modified tip to cut the cloth. I now have a nice hot knife that glides through the material. A melted edge like this is really nice as it binds the edge a bit to keep it from unraveling. After trimming one side, I fold it back and cut the other. The trim line is about one inch from the center line. This should give me enough material to sew the seam. The seam stitching method I use I learned from Robert Morris's book, Building Skin on Frame Boats. I started by running two lengths of parachute cord down the length of the seam. Here I looped the cord around the combing and tied it tightly back to the stem form. Here's Dave working on sewing the bow seam. The twine is threaded through the cloth, under the parachute cord, then through the cloth again before going through the other side in a similar manner. Then another needle runs another length of twine back approximately through the same holes from the other side. The bow has a stringer running directly down the center line. This helps keep the seam straight. Dave stuck push pins through the paracord into the stringer to keep the cord tight and centered. With this cloth, a stitch every centimeter or half inch seems to do a good job. We're trying to get a, the cloth as tight as we can at this point, but it doesn't need to be drum tight. While Dave worked on the bow, I got started on the stern. I didn't have a string running down the center line, so it was a little hard to keep the seam straight. In the future, I'll probably insert a temporary batten as a guide. I found that pulling the thread taut along the seam helped pull it down under the paracord. I moved the spring clamp after each stitch to hold the tension. This method of sewing the seam is quite quick. I like how the parachute cord reinforces the edge, providing a secure point to pull the cloth tight. There's no fear of overpulling and ripping the fabric. The results are very clean and neat, especially where Dave was following the deck stringer. At the stern where there was no stringer, I found I got the best results when I pulled the paracord tight and secured it with some push pins. By working my way down, pulling the thread tight, I eventually started getting straighter results. I also eventually started running out of thread, so I finished off the ends by pushing the needles through just one side of the fabric and tying a knot between the threads. When I started the new length of thread, I stepped back a few stitches and overlapped for a while to ensure a secure junction. We kept with this seam technique until I got to the stems. I didn't want the large raised seam cutting into the water, so I trimmed off the paracord even with the end of the stem and trimmed the fabric a bit oversized. Working down the stem, I stitched one side to the other, just using the thread to gather together the excess cloth. I was still using two needles, but I would do a few stitches with one going one direction, then follow with the other going the other direction. I kept this up all the way down to the bottom of the stem, gathering together the last little pucker with a few more stitches. I wasn't completely satisfied with this seam, so on the bow I left a little bit more excess when I trimmed the fabric. This extra let me fold over the ends and stitch through the fold, tucking the excess inside the seam. I then proceeded like before, stitching around the edges with two needles. I finished off the bottom by returning partway back up the stem. I think this system of folding in the edges before sewing made a cleaner looking seam. I made a mistake when I first cut the fabric to size. There was a little corner next to the cockpit that the cloth didn't cover. To fix this, I needed to cut a patch. I wanted it to look symmetrical, so I cut a matching corner out of the other side. I then cut a triangular patch to fit. The parachute cord was not part of the patch, so I cut it off. I used a similar stitch to the bow, folding the edges down and sewing between the two sides. While I would rather I didn't have to patch it, the fix was quick and easy to do. I added a paracord edge to attach the skin to the combing perimeter. The fabric is rolled around the cord, then sewn down through the holes in the combing apron. I thread up through the hole, through the doubled up fabric, around the paracord, and back down through the same hole, then move on to the next hole. 
over, up, around, and down. Over, up, around, and down. If I needed an extra hole, I shot one in. I trimmed as I went to be sure I didn't cut off too much. It's a little awkward reaching in under the combing to thread the needle through the hole. I found a pair of forceps handy to hold the thread tight in the prior hole while I was threading into the next hole. The thread I'm using is a braided polyester fishing line. It was nice stuff to work with. It didn't have much tendency to tangle and was relatively easy on the hands to pull tight. I'm really pleased with this technique for sewing the skin to the combing. It's very straightforward, not requiring anything fancy. As long as I kept the fabric rolled tightly around the parachute cord, it made a very clean edge. Now for the magic of polyester fabric. I want the skin drum tight. While it's possible to do this with sewing techniques, it takes some work. At this point, the fabric is finger tight, with most of the slack removed. A very hot iron pressed firmly against the cloth makes it shrink. While polyester isn't the strongest fabric choice, this ability to heat shrink is awesome. Once shrunk tight, the fabric will not loosen or sag. While it's kind of a shame to hide the frame under the fabric, the skinning process is quite quick and easy. Of course, the boat's not yet seaworthy. This is filter fabric. It's designed to leak like a sieve. In the next episode, I'll seal the fabric and do the outfitting to prepare the kayak for the water. I look forward to your questions and comments. Please share this video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, be sure to see the rest of my series and other small boat building projects on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, I'd appreciate your support via my Patreon page. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy paddling!